this might be the biggest moment in Google's AI journey yet. Gemini 3 is here, and it's not just another model update. It's a full-on transformation of how Google plans to compete in the AI race. For months, Gemini 3 has been quietly tested behind the scenes. And now, early leaks show this model might finally push Google ahead of OpenAI. So, how did we get here? Let's rewind for a second. When Gemini 1 launched back in 2023, it was Google's first true response to GPT-4, a model trained to think and reason across text, images, and code. Then came Gemini 1.5, bringing long context memory. It could handle over a million tokens of information in a single conversation. That meant it could process entire books, code bases, or research papers without losing context. A big leap, but not enough to outshine GPT-4 Turbo. Then came Gemini 2, Google's first real multimodal foundation model. It understood videos, generated charts, and reasoned through images, but it still struggled with creativity and natural conversation. Now comes Gemini 3, and this is where everything changes. Gemini 3 isn't just smarter, it's architecturally different. For the first time, Google is using what insiders call a unified multi-reasoning core. Instead of juggling separate sub-models for text, image, and code, Gemini 3 blends them into a single shared understanding layer. That means when it sees an image, writes code, or analyzes a document, it's thinking holistically, not switching modes. And the results are stunning. Early benchmarks show Gemini 3 outperforming Claude 4.5 and GPT 4.5 in front-end coding, math reasoning, and visual comprehension. One developer reported Gemini 3 generated a perfect SVG of a PlayStation controller. No missing parts, no errors. That's visual intelligence and code precision working hand in hand. Gemini 3 comes in two main variants, Gemini 3 Pro and Gemini 3 Flash. Pro is built for deep thinking, long form writing, coding, and complex reasoning. Think of it as the research brain. Flash is built for speed, real-time chat, mobile apps, and quick search responses. That's the reactive brain. Together, they cover both power users and everyday consumers. But the surprises don't end there. Hidden in early code commits are two experimental modes, deep think and agent mode. DeepThink gives Gemini 3 the ability to reason in multiple layers, breaking down problems step by step, like silent chain of thought reasoning. Agent mode takes it even further. It allows Gemini 3 to perform actions directly in your browser, researching, summarizing, even completing tasks inside Google Workspace. That's Google's first real step toward autonomous AI agents. But the real magic of Gemini 3 isn't just in what it does, it's in where it lives. Google is embedding Gemini 3 into everything, search Chrome, pixel devices, Android 17, and workspace apps like Docs, Sheets, and Slides. That means every time you search, write, or create, Gemini 3 is right there in the background, understanding context across apps and helping in real time. Inside AI Studio, Google added a new section called My Stuff. It's a personal hub where all your generated images, code, and notes live. This hints at a much bigger vision, turning AI Studio into a connected creative workspace. This isn't just another chatbot, it's the foundation of Google's next AI ecosystem. According to leaks, the rollout will happen in three stages. First, enterprise access through Vertex AI starting this month. Then, developer access through Google Cloud later this year. And finally, a full consumer launch in early 2026. If all goes right, Gemini 3 could reach over 500 million users by next year, making it one of the most widely deployed AI systems ever built. Gemini 3 marks a turning point for Google. It's not just catching up, it's building something bigger. OpenAI has a platform. Google has an ecosystem. Gemini 3 will power search results, assist developers, run inside Chrome extensions, and even help Android apps generate content on the fly. This is the start of what many call the AI native web, a world where intelligence isn't a product you open, but a feature built into everything you do. So yeah, Gemini 3 isn't just Google's next model. It's the beginning of a new phase where your browser, your phone, and your workspace all think together. And this time, Google might actually be one step ahead. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay ahead of the AI curve, hit subscribe, because this revolution is just getting started.